the, the team was going through quite a, uh, a difficult time in that period and uh, you know the pitch wasn't in, in great condition um, and we were wondering whether we would continue really about four or five years ago. Prior to uh, any fun that it could only be described as like a cabbage patch, the actual the weed on it was horrific. Um, we didn't actually have a very good mower, and we was, we was pretty ignorant to what we could, you know, we could do and what, what uh, the possibilities were. We got a, a grant from, so I think it was uh, two and a half thousand pounds during COVID to spend on pitch renovations. If you don't do your pitch power, you don't get the funding basically. And it's not hard to do, probably half an hour, just a couple of you, really easy, um, straightforward on the app, self expansion really. We do the inspection on the app, that then gets sent off, uh, I think our original guy to uh, Kev Cuffill. Kev then looks at the report, analyses it, doesn't get any recommendations, and then you get a report sent back. Um, say with his recommendations. I mean there's lots of good things come out of this and, and it is really good so I would encourage anyone to get involved with the FA and the Football Foundation to do to do this process because it's not that hard. The staff said they are really easy to deal with, good people, um, just ask them the questions and they you know they can only say no at the end of the day and, and at the moment for us they've always said you know they've said yes you know when we've said yeah we can co-fund that or we can sort that out between us.